Okay, so now I'm getting seam line topology is wrong. And what I want to do Oops, I actually did make a mistake. Let's delete that seam. Let's make sure I got all my other seams. So I've got those two. I've got all the seams around here the way that I would expect. All there. Did I grab all of these? Ah, I missed one. So let's actually break the multi segment. I'm going to make sure I select all of them this time so that I don't get that error. So when you start working with complex patterns, you can tell it, it takes a little bit of, of work to get used to these panels. And you have to be careful and you have to be methodical about it in order to get the results that you want. Okay, so now I've got all eight of those seamed edges and I'm going to hit Make Multi-Segment. And then I'm going to grab both of those, the bottom edge of the, the uh, waistband and this, and hit Create Seam. And this time, you can see it creates it, but I've got things all kind of reversed and twisted. So I'm going to reverse the seam out. And now I've got this. Now if I were to sim it, remember, I've got these back edges open right now. So now I can go in and create the seam lines for the back side of the garment. Again, when you start selecting, this is when curve subobject mode can come in handy. So now I've got all of my seams created. All of the ones anyway that are going to be necessary for building the skirt. So at this stage, let's select my guy and make him non-transparent. And I'm going to save this. And instead of it being pleat example start, I'm going to call this one placed. And actually I'm going to call it GM placed. So I know that the garment maker stuff has been placed. And let it save. Oops, I'm actually saving to a network drive. So let's actually go back in here. I'm going to hit save as and instead of it being there, I'm going to go to my scenes cloth effects and call it pleat example GM placed much better okay so now that we have select the garment again now that we have the the dress placed and the panels placed what I want to do is start creating the creases the folds the pleats in my my garment so I go back into seam sub object mode and you'll notice that I can now pick the internal seam lines that I built earlier into this garment. And what I want to do is have them start folding around. So what I'm going to do is inside of the crease angle, I'm going to make this, uh, let's say, 140 degrees and a crease strength of 10. And then I'm going to go to the next one, and I want it to be the exact opposite. 140 degrees negative, crease strength of 10, and considering this is following, if I wanted to have a shape that went across, then down, then across, then back up, then that way, kind of in a reverse Z, what I want to do is keep that pattern going. So minus 140, 10, and then this one, 140, and 10. And now all i got to do is repeat that process for each one of these four panels. So in this case, 140 and 10. And then minus 140 and 10. Again, minus 140 because I wanted to reverse out what I just folded. And then 140 and 10. Third time, third segment, so 140 and 10. You can see it's a little, you can start getting a lot of seams in here 
You just have to be careful of how you put these garments together. Again, be methodical, take your time. So this is the third one. So again, reversing out what I just did is minus 140. And then I want a positive fold here. So 140 and 10. Let me check that, make sure. Yep. Okay. Last panel. So 140 and 10. Minus 140 and 10. Minus 140 and 10. And finally, reversing that out, 140 and 10. Okay, so now I've got folds and creases, so I can get some pleats out of this. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and save as placed with pleats. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to throwing cloth effects on it. So again, skirt form is going to be cloth and I'll make it something kind of silky and I'm going to add the generic man in collision object and I'm going to make that point three and I'm going to turn off gravity for the time being and I'm going to hit simulate local damped Let's do simulate local and see how we do. Hmm. Did I? Let's see what we did wrong. Generic man. Point three. Maybe let's pick something by default and see what happens here. Maybe I have something misset in my. So let's do simulate local. Uh, so it was in the silk settings and I messed something up. I'll check that after a while. Now, of course, you're going to notice pretty much right away that I got a problem in that this pattern, if I turn off this, is way too small. I mean, unless I'm creating a hooker, um, I don't think this is really going to fly too well. So what I want to do is I'm going to change some things around here. I'm going to select my, my garment and considering I didn't use the reference technique that I had shown you guys earlier, I've now got to go back and create that. But fortunately, I can use the listener window. Let's actually kill all that. And I want to use star or dollar sign garment maker generate description brackets. And it's going to create those panels. I'll minimize that. Now what I can do is delete that out, grab my, whoops, let's actually get my gizmos back. Shift clone this guy as a reference so that I've got it. I'm going to apply Garment Maker to it instead and then I'm going to open up this script and evaluate my entire script. Now considering I offset this, it offset the uh, the garment coming back. Not a problem. I can grab everything, pretty much realign it where I wanted to. Okay, so now I've got my, my garment set back, but the thing that I really want to do was to grab the original, and I'm going to put an X form on it and I'm going to scale it to make it bigger. And you'll notice that the X form for this reference also shows up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this guy out a little bit and collapse all. And so now 
And you can see I've got the X form here. If I do preserve and I hit mesh it and preserve, well, actually, you're not going to see anything because I didn't have on the triangular faces, but these actually shrunk a little bit. They got tighter, more densely packed, so they're going to push each other a lot more when I simulate later. So I was actually able to widen the amount of uh, spacing for this for this garment. So you'll see in a minute when I start to simulate. So again, I'm going to go back in here, cloth. Let's just make it the default. 